morning to everyone. The sixth hearing on proposed Senate Resolution Number 826 is hereby called to order. May I ask the committee secretary to... Ah, the, the correct Director General. May I ask Director General Attorney Kimbo to acknowledge our witnesses uh, and resource persons present this morning and uh, administer the oath to the new witnesses and then remind the returning ones of their that they are testifying under the same oath. Attorney Kimbo. May I proceed, Mr. Chair. Uh, currently present are Engineer Mario Etchanova, former Department Head General Services Department of the City of Makati. From the Attorney Renato Bondal, Mr. Nicolas Ching and Ciso the Sixth, uh, Mr. Federico Cuervo, Mr. Alejandro Tenko of J. Bros Construction Corporation. And then from the Philippine Contractors Accredited Board, Mr. Rene Fajardo, OICP CAP. And from Hillmark, Mr. I mean, Attorney Rogelio Pay. If there are new witnesses, uh, please administer the oath. Uh, are there people who are here for the first time? C kindly stand and yeah, raise your right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this proceeding? Thank you. You may take your seats. Uh, those who have been here previously are reminded that they are testifying on the same oath. Can we can we take advantage of the fact that the Director General is already there? Uh, can you inform this committee of some communication, motions that uh, we recently received? We have received... And excuse letters? Yes, sir. Uh, we have received a, a letter declining our invitation from the Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines uh, to communicate uh, a motion which contains a jurisdictional challenge uh, submitted by the by Honorable Judge Omar Irwin, Irwin S. Binay Jr., the current mayor of Mahati City, and also a jurisdictional challenge uh, submitted by Ms. Beng Baloloy. Ms. Baloloy and Mayor Binay had been sent uh, subpoena to testify in today's hearings. What happened to the subpoena sent to, or we attempted to send to Mr. Limlingan? Uh, Mr. Limlingan, uh, the subpoena was, was delivered to Vive Hotel. The, it was received, it was received by a staff of the, of the hotel. And then subsequently a letter was sent to us saying that, uh, the letter was mistakenly received because Mr. Limlingan does not live in that building. But the sergeant at arms uh, staff who had delivered the subpoena to Sestecum said that the person who received it said that indeed Mr. Limlingan was living there and therefore she accepted the letter. She received the letter on his behalf. Okay, so maybe we, uh, maybe if the, if that person uh, could file a written report uh, to the subcommittee. So yes, yes, sir. And we'll there are other communications. Attorney and then there is a letter from Mr. Jose Fabia, Commissioner of the HOA, uh, saying that he cannot attend today's hearing because he is in Moscow, and then that he will submit the requested documents from him at the soonest possible time, whenever he, at the shortest possible time. And then from ITP Construction, there is a letter from Mr. Isidro Pajariliaga seeking, uh, asking to be excused from
today's meeting because of an urgent matter he has to personally attend in Nueva Ecija. And also a letter from the current Vice Mayor of the City of Mahati saying that he has another appointment and therefore he could not come. But the current Vice Mayor, Mr. Chair. And uh, for the record, uh, Attorney Pig, uh, where are the Chairman and the President of Hillmarks? Uh, good morning, Your Honor. Uh, unfortunately, the Chairman of the Board and the President of Hillmarks Construction Corporation cannot attend today's hearing. They are uh, at present in Korea right now, Your Honor. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Senator Caetano. Well, siguro dismayado ang marami nating kababayan sa attendance, lalo dun sa tatlong binanggit na uh, tumatanggap ng pera allegedly no, para sa Pamilya Binay led by uh, Mayor Junjun Binay. But uh, so that we don't delay the hearing dahil may mga witnesses here, uh, may I make the suggestion or motion, depending on the chairman's uh, pleasure, that we deal with this at the end of the hearing when we also instruct the staff to either um, show cause, uh, give a, a, or a show cause order, or whether we reissue the subpoena or uh, issue additional invitations to the others, Mr. Chair. Okay, so specifically, I think Senator Caetano is referring to the jurisdictional challenge of Ms. Ebbing Baloloy and uh, Mayor <clears throat> Erwin, Jejumar Erwin S. B. Nye Jr. We will refer this to the to the staff, to our, to, the, to our lawyers for study, and we will rule uh, during this hearing later on. And uh, we note, we also note the, and we will respect the letter, yes. the decision of the Vice President not to attend uh, today's hearing. Okay. Mr. Chair, may I also ask whether the jurisdictional challenge is only uh, from the mayor or all city officials of Makati? I don't see the city officials of Makati here, kung tama po ang aking uh, uh, memory, ang promise ho ni Mayor Junjun ay ipapadala niya lahat ng makakasagot sa mga issue, kaya hindi daw siya muna mag a -attend. Pero kaya natin siya inimbita dahil siya mismo ang tinuro na tumatanggap ng pera. So wala naman dahilan na hindi mag-attend yung ibang city officials. In fact, parating sinasabi ng mga binay na paulit-ulit tong hearing, humahaba, Pero hindi naman sinasubmit ng city officials at ng ibang contractors yung ating mga hinihingi. But uh, again, not to delay the hearing, tatanong ko po mamaya yon yung mga kailangan isubmit. But may I know, meron bang city yeah. officials okay. from Makati na nandito ngayon? Or uh, ta tago ng tago na rin sila? Sige po, I was about to, uh, I was about to ask that any, <clears throat> any official from the city of Makati present today, council? Are you official of the city of Makati? Oh, Your Honor, oh, I would like to ask. Later, 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 Banyero. Yes, Your Honor. I will, I will allow you to speak. See, take your seat, take your seat, Banyero. I will allow you to sit. Yes. So, uh, Senator Cayetano, there is no uh, high-ranking or responsible official from the city of Makati present today. We will just inform them early of uh, the next scheduled hearing. Because uh, in fairness to the... To all of our returning witnesses, we just sent you actually an invitation to attend because we were reserving this hearing for the Vice President. So for the information of everybody, please do not force us to subpoena you, but the next scheduled hearings of this committee, subcommittee, will be on October 2 at 10 o'clock. Okay. And then October 8 at 9 a.m. Attorney Pig, you, you're, you please inform the chairman and the president. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Council, this is uh, an exception to our rules. I will allow you to, to speak. Yes, Your Honors, thank you very much. I am Attorney Claro F. Certeza, and I represent uh, the mayor of the city of Makati. Uh, with all due respect to the honorable members of the committee, we would like to respectfully take exception to the earlier advice of the chairman that uh, they will proceed at today's uh, proceedings, Your Honor, please, because uh, it is the humble uh, opinion of this representation that if there is a jurisdictional challenge, it has to be ruled first under uh, Section 3, Your Honor, please. 
Thank you, Panyero. Your manifestation is noted. <coughs> Thank you very much. Sir. We have our own uh, understanding of our rules also. Okay. And for your information, your client appeared here, specifically Mayor Junjun Binay, weeks ago, did not invoke jurisdictional, did not challenge the jurisdiction of this committee. And as lawyers, we know the principle is that at the earliest possible opportunity, you raise the matter of jurisdiction. But uh, with due respect, Your Honor, please, uh, isn't it that uh, jurisdiction can be raised at any time, Your Honor, please? I do not mean yeah, to argue, yeah, no, no. Your Honor, because I know that uh, there are rules governing these proceedings. But uh, may I just be allowed to state for the record that if in case the decision is to proceed at today's hearing, we would just like to place on record our objection to the proceedings, Your Honor, please. Uh, we will note that, Panyero. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Chair, before he leaves, may I ask him a question? Chair, uh, again, state for the record, what is the name of your law firm? Uh, it is Subido Pagente Certeza Mendoza and Bina, Your Honor. Okay. Bina refers to? Uh, the uh, incumbent congresswoman, Bina, Your Honor. Who is your partner? She is a partner on leave, Your Honor. And uh, Mendoza is? Uh, Attorney Mendoza is uh, one of the partners also. And she is the chief of staff of, uh, of uh, Congresswoman Binay, correct? Yes, Your Honor, and, and she is on leave also. And Attorney Subido is? Uh, the, there are two. Uh, there is uh, Martin Subido, Your Honor. And one of them is the classmate of uh, Congresswoman Abigail Binay, correct? I would not know, but they belong to the same school, Your Honor. Mag-partners kayo, hindi nyo alam kung mag-classmate yung partners nyo, Kamaniyar? Uh, Your Honor, please, uh, I am or way... You know, or you know my next question. I am way older than they yes, are, Your Honor. Yes, but you are partners. Uh, I, whether they are classmates, okay. I, I cannot say, well, my next question same school, is, Your Honor. The attorney de Vera who's been filing cases against uh, me, my wife, and against all the witnesses against Binay and against also Secretary Mar Rojas is also the classmate of Subido, Mendoza, and Binay, correct? I am not in a position. I don't know, Your Honor. Well, anyway, let me clarify that. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you also for your admission that you are way older than, the, than, than these young lawyers. Thank you, Panyero. Thank you. We have decided to proceed, so your uh, continuing, your, your motion, uh, your <clears throat> jurisdictional challenge will be deemed to include a continuing objection to the to the uh, to the hearing that we will conduct this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Panyero. Uh, Mr. Nicolas Ching, NC of the Sixth. Uh, Mr. Federico Cuervo. Mr. Alejandro Tenko of J. Bros Construction Corporation. Good morning to everyone. The sixth hearing on. Proposed Senate Resolution Number 826 is hereby called to order. May I ask the Committee Secretary to... Uh, ah, the, the correct... Uh, Director General. May I ask Director General Attorney Kimbo to acknowledge our witnesses uh, and resource persons present this morning and uh, administer the oath to the new witnesses and then remind the returning ones of their that they are testifying under the same oath. Attorney Kimbo. May I proceed, Mr. Chair. Uh, currently present are Engineer Mario Etchanova, former Department Head General Services Department of the City of Makati from the Attorney Renato Bondal, 